क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हे फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव गॉट टू नो अबाउट दैट हाउ कैन वी प्रिपेयर दैट इज हाइड्रोजन थ्रू लैब मेथड एज वेल एज इन कमर्शियल प्रोडक्शन सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एज वेल एज द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द डाई हाइड्रोजन सो व्हाट आर दोस लेट अस टॉक अबाउट दैट so here we are going to discuss about the physical as well as the chemical properties of uh, the dihydrogen so talking about the physical appearance dihydrogen is basically a gaseous and uh, it is an odorless gas which is not soluble in water and there are also various properties uh, that helps the hydrogen to show that how much reactive it is but hydrogen being having that is bond enthalpy which is very uh, greater so that's the reason that we can't break it very easily so that's the reason that we have to provide certain kind of uh, uh, high temperature and more energy so as the reaction could uh, should occur but it is also been found that hydrogen is very much reactive in that of the uh, halogen molecules because the reason uh, behind that is because hydrogen is the one that uh, has to basically has to uh, complete its octet or has to convert into a stable electronic configuration that it reacts with halogen molecules very easily because even the halogen molecules they need electrons so as to get a stable electronic configuration and that's the reason that they are very much reactive to each other so there are also various methods uh, where we could uh, say that uh, the chemical reactivity of uh, that is hydrogen is comparatively different with that of the other gases so let me discuss about uh, the chemical properties of hydrogen so talking about the chemical property let me discuss about that uh, what is the reaction with uh, of hydrogen with uh, that is halogen so it has been found that uh, the hydrogen is very much reactive with that of the halogen so in this case suppose if i am considering that is h2 and x2 here so therefore the product that we could get is that is two moles of hx so this is hydrogen halide that we have got over here but it is also been found that uh, hydrogen is very much reactive with that of the fluorine so as i have discussed earlier also that we have to provide certain kind of energy in the form of sunlight or in the form of uv radiation so as the reaction should occur but here fluorine is very much reactive in such a way that even though if we uh, react uh, hydrogen and uh, fluorine in a dark condition still the product would be obtained but for example for chlorine what we have to do is we have to give a certain kind of uh, radiations and then only the reaction would happen and uh, we could obtain that is hcl so for iodine actually uh, we require a certain kind of catalyst so that the reaction could occur so therefore there are certain criteria so where basically the hydrogen could react with halogen so this was one of the chemical property that i have discussed about uh, here and uh, now let us move on to the next one that is what happens if uh, the halogen is been reacted with oxygen So the second thing that I'm going to talk about is basically reaction of uh, that is hydrogen gas with oxygen. So it has been found that hydrogen it doesn't react with oxygen very easily. So that's the reason that we have to provide certain kind of catalyst or certain kind of energy so that the reaction would occur. And uh, that is what I'm uh, mentioning over here that even a catalyst or even we could say heating is been required so as to obtain that is. h2 but the reaction is not balanced so we have to balance the reaction and this is how we could uh, balance the reaction and we have got uh, that is h2 but this kind of reaction is actually it is an exothermic reaction so that's the reason that the amount of heat that we could produce or that we could uh, get is basically it is been found to be that is minus 285 kJ per mole so this is a reaction with oxygen and now let us move on with uh, what happens if uh, the hydrogen is been treated with nitrogen so this is the reaction that we have uh, did many times and in this case basically suppose if hydrogen that is three moles of hydrogen it will react with that is uh, n2 so as to produce that is two moles of nh3 but since this reaction is uh, reversible so therefore we have to give a certain kind of uh, uh, criteria so that uh, the reaction would occur that is a high pressure around 200 atmosphere and the temperature that uh, it should be uh, so as to prepare this uh, ammonia is very much less so therefore less temperature is been required so as to uh, give this kind of reaction and in this case we see the catalyst that is been used is fe so fe catalyst is been used and uh, there is how we could obtain that is ammonia so this is the reactivity with that of the that is uh, nitrogen so now let us move on to the next one in this case basically uh, the more important thing that i want to talk about is uh, this is also known as haber's process so in this case basically the hydrogen and nitrogen they both are basically compressed uh, at a high temperature and uh, that is at high pressure also so at using a certain kind of uh, catalyst like fe2o3 along with that of al2o3 fe and al2o3 which act like a promoter so therefore that uh, helps to form that is ammonia 
and this is also known as Haber's process. So now let us discuss about the next one. So the next one is a reaction with metals especially s block elements uh, like for example if i'm talking about sodium so sodium is very much reactive with that of hydrogen so that it could produce that is sodium hydride so this kind of hydride is possible if uh, those uh, elements which have the capacity to lose electron uh, so that uh, helps in uh, combining with that of the hydrogen so the reason behind that is hydrogen is not the only one that it will lose electron but it has also the capacity to take electrons so as to get a stable electronic configuration so that is how we see whenever sodium that is if i'm talking about uh, suppose if we have uh, that is uh, reacted sodium along with that of the hydrogen so the product that we could get is basically sodium hydride so in this case basically the oxidation state of hydrogen it has been found to be you know minus so for example we know that uh, the s block elements like for example sodium it will have always a positive oxidation uh, number that is plus one so and hydrogen is the one that could acquire minus one oxidation state also so in this case we see the hydrogen is in a minus one oxidation state and this is how it has been formed so now let us discuss about that what happens if uh, the hydrogen is reacted with the metal oxide metal oxides are the one for example if i would consider that is z and o it consists uh, of oxygen so if i introduce hydrogen in that case and uh, so in this case we see the hydrogen is reducing uh, the zinc oxide so as to form that is zinc along with that of that is water so therefore in this case we see hydrogen is helping uh, in basically in a reduction process and uh, so it's not only with oxides but it can also react with uh, the ions so in this case basically suppose if i consider that is pd2 plus and if i'm reacting with hydrogen so therefore in this case basically h2 is acting like a reducing agent and that is how basically it will convert the uh, palladium which is of 2 plus and it will convert into palladium along with that of that is 2 moles of h plus ion so this is acting like a reducing agent so this is what the property of the hydrogen is and uh, there are also certain properties that we have discussed earlier also that is uh, hydrogen is the one that helps a very uh, important role in basically in converting an unsaturated compound to a saturated compound so that is what i'm going to talk about here so this has certain properties uh, that i was talking about uh, the um, hydrogen but uh, the main thing that we have forgot is basically it is used in uh, the conversion of an unsaturated compound to a saturated compound so for example this is the reaction that we have that is it is used in the hydrogenation of alkene so in this case basically the olefin that is alkene that is ch2 double bond ch2 plus h2 it is reacted in presence of that is rare nickel so as to obtain a saturated compound that is ethane but it is not only applicable in this uh, uh, that is in this reaction for example uh, we know that vegetable oils vegetable oils are basically they are unsaturated hydrocarbons and uh, for example and if we have treated it with the hydrogen in presence of catalyst or suppose in presence of uh, uh, other condition where the hydrogen has been involved so basically that vegetable oil can be converted into a solid fat which is basically known as vanaspati ghee so this is how we could uh, that is convert the oil into uh, that is a, a solid fat so that is what i want to talk about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you will share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe you get a channel thank you so much